hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel once again and today in this video we are going to learn about how write fax works and what is fax image file name uh, it is separate okay it is not a uh, one entity or one item here i should put comma so what is fax image or fax image files name how it is important size and this space so I have already spoken about uh, these things but once again I am uh, going through the same thing and uh, you should have much better idea so uh, I hope this will be informative so guys let's talk about and uh, let's learn about fax image files okay what it is actually so you should make a note guys okay and uh, we'll talk about one by one so by default all sent and received faxes are stored as composed graphic image file okay you should make a note all sent and received faxes are stored as compressed compressed graphic image files that is also known as cctt group third format in the right fax image folder so this is the path where all the sent and received faxes will be stored in the form of graphic files okay graphic image files and uh, by default these are not encrypted you should make a note to encrypt these files we need to enable encryption okay so the, the first thing i hope you have understood whatever faxes we are sending those faxes will be stored as compressed graphic image and the location is or you can call it directory inside write fax folder and by default those files are not encrypted now the next one is with appropriate licensing the write fax server can be configured to encrypt the image files so if you want to encrypt those image files what you have to do you have to take license okay proper licenses and store them in SQL instead of this folder so you have option to store those files in SQL also instead of, uh, instead of uh, image folders so if you don't want to store these images on uh, right facts image folder you can use SQL also or both path okay that is also possible and encrypted image files can only be viewed using right facts applications so by default these are not encrypted but if you are using any encryption algorithm and you want to view those encrypted images then you need to use right facts applications so you should uh, make a note of all those things important things important points okay guys i hope it is very clear information okay what is fax file images now let's talk little more if the server is set to encrypt the image directory so if we have configured that server to encrypt those or uh, that image directory the rpc server module will apply 256 bit aes encryption to the image files as they are saved so let me show you here i have server what it is actually so you should have clear idea so uh, let me log in this one at least image directory and all you should have clear idea what is that sql and uh, directory i spoke just now so i will give you a little bit clear q uh, idea about it so let me open right facts uh, okay no problem that uh, enterprise fax manager and uh, we'll open it so here okay let me go to c type in my last video also i spoke about the directory and all uh, you have to go to files program files then write fax and you have image directory okay so here all the send and receive faxes will be storing okay guys this is the location instead of this what you can use you can use uh 
uh, you can use SQL also for that you have to configure uh, I will show you uh, service are, services are starting now module server Yeah, data sharing option is there on this uh, server module so okay so you can go to this one okay and you can configure this configure services and uh, we have data sharing so even you can go to any uh, th this is your c drive location okay and uh, uh, as of now it is showing you service account here and apart from this if you go to sql uh, you can configure fax images here also okay sql if you want to configure uh, to store those images on sql server you can configure from here you can see here sql connection to image storage so like this uh, you can keep those images at both place or you can select one place also i hope it is very clear now and uh, for this 256 bit AES encryption to the file images so that is also available here so which server RPC server module RPC server module is available or not here let's see so I will show you RPC server module this one you have to configure this for encryption uh, so uh, we need to uh, I think it is open stop restart all services restart status debug so that i will show you later on but i'm just giving you basic idea here right facts rpc server module okay guys and for this again we need license if license is not there we cannot do anything just you can see here configure service is invisible okay disappear it is not visible i cannot click here i cannot do anything so i am not sure if i have license for this so you need to uh, be very careful with the licensing also now let's talk about uh, to apply 256 bit aes encryption to an encrypted files and files previously previously encrypted with a less secure algorithm okay let's see now i hope it is very clear okay what is image directory encryption how we can store where we can store image files now let's talk about the names of of image files we are talking about image file only we understood what is image file now we'll talk about we will learn about naming how we can name it or how it is already available so guys fax images files are assigned file name by the right fax server and these files names are uh, referenced by the right fax sql database so this is generated automatically okay and uh, it is uh, taken reference from right fax sql database whatever file is generating okay and apart from this each individual page of a fax is saved as a separate file all files associated with a single fax will have the uh, same file name but different file extension will indicate the page number Apart from this, file extension for writefax image files are numeric, starting with 301, indicating the first page of the text, uh, fax. The file extension increased by one for each subsequent page of the fax. Okay, so let's see here. I uh, will go to this location. So you can see here, it is showing you sample. Okay, one 301. So these are the files. I hope you understood and name also so it is giving you sample dot 301 okay and uh, if you want you can view it uh, what is the extension kind of thing also so hide hide remove this and this save apply yes so yes this is the last uh, what we have here or let me see once again if I have made mistake Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so everything okay so this is the situation extension and all whatever we have it is showing you here okay and uh, here we need to we caution little bit if you rename 
uh, right facts image files they will not be recognized by the right facts server so if you are renaming this file name so it will not be recognized by the uh, right facts server so you should not uh, uh, make any manual changes here whatever you are doing you should do on sql server so it will take reference from sql server and generate images here so this is one advice or precaution you have to uh, take okay guys and uh, let's learn little more about it uh, next is size so in my couple of videos also i spoke about the you know typical fax minimum size is 35 kb okay and though some can be larger as 150 kb also and smaller also 5 kb but the default you can say or minimum is 35 kb per page okay guys apart from this because fax images can consume a large amount of this dedicated at least 500 mb of storage of your right fax server so yes for example you have five page in one uh, fax and every page is 35 kb so it will be 140 kb okay one fax so it will consume more space so we need to be very uh, careful about uh, space dedicated uh, in the disk of the disk okay and uh, more space may be required depending on the uh, depending on the uh, number of faxes sent and received and how frequently old faxes are deleted so obviously you need more space what kind of policy your organization is following like how many days you are keeping uh, old faxes whether you are deleting or not archiving it or not if you are not deleting if you are not archiving then definitely it will consume more space okay guys and uh, this is what we have understood about size so uh, take care of the space sufficient space so we should install a right fax server on a separate server, uh, separate drive and we should store uh, fax images at separate location like nash or shan whatever we can use okay now let's talk about disk space so guys right fax monitors the amount of free space on the server and set down certain processing elements when available disk space is below 50 mb so you can consider it as an automatic monitoring mechanism which will keep monitoring this space of the right fax server and if the disk space goes below 50 mb right fax server will stop certain processing okay and we can configure a couple of alerts also uh, so for that what we have to do we have to use uh, this only this server module and you can go to your uh, admin messages okay now ne next thing is i will discuss in next video here i just wanted to give you the clear idea about a particular fax uh this space wise okay uh, size wise and uh, name what should be the name what and uh, i mean what are the precautions you need to take okay guys and how it takes reference or from where it takes reference for uh, name creation and apart from that we understood file image okay fax image files basically and also we have understood about encryption if it is not encrypted what you can do which module will take care of encryption okay so i hope it will be a uh, informative uh, information only and if you feel it is then what you have to do it is your choice okay uh, share like comment and subscribe so in next video what we are going to learn what we are going to understand what are right fax services okay so there are lots of services available you can see here one two three four five some around 20 25 or uh, around 20 uh, services and every service has a specific command a specific role a specific uh, functionality okay so if you don't have a uh, you know clear idea about the uh, service you cannot configure you cannot administer your server so we will understand all those things in next video for example what is conversion engine what is stock transport module so these are services core services okay basic services 
and everything has a specific role so that is i'm going to discuss in next video till then bye bye